me show you what we're using. These are self-drilling screws and they have the big head on them. So that's kind of like a built-in washer. So this is working pretty good. So we've got the, the brace or the rack ready. And you can see what we've done is we've just screwed them in. Uh, did some measuring and the panels themselves are screwed together in three locations down the middle which makes a good strong brace in the middle. And then we'll drop it right down in here and we'll probably put us three across each side. Now, the reason I designed it this way is I'm hoping that this will not affect the aerodynamics. This is already breaking the wind and I didn't want this sitting up on top, which would have made it even higher and provided more wind resistance. So by dropping it in behind this, the wind should come over and right along the panel. But we'll see as time goes. Okay, as with anything in a build, a band build, things change. They change all the time. Originally, we went with two of these bad boys. These are 100 watt Renergy solar panels, but I went with a bigger refrigerator than I originally was going to. Originally, I was going to go with just a refrigerator. Now I'm going to go with a refrigerator freezer. That's going to draw a little more power. So I'm going to put a third panel on the roof. Wayne and I are going to attack that today and see if we can't maybe get that done. So now we've got three of the Renogy 100 watt solar panels up here, or we will have. You can see we're having to extend the brackets a little bit. Uh, and then the scary part, we get to drill the hole in the roof for the cables. Okay, so here are the three panels and we've attached them together with screws and well, nuts and bolts actually. But you can see all along there on both sides. And that should firm it up pretty well. These are actually double walled right here. So it's, it's, it's a good strong connection. And then we, got them the wires coming into a three-way and now what we'll do is take this as a unit and put it up on the top okay the hard part starts and that's the drilling through the roof for the solar and I wanted to get as far back as I could so this is a brace and I'm going to come in somewhere about here. There's the three solar panels, 100 watts each. And I drilled that hole from the inside through the roof. And that'll give us a place to know where to actually drill the bigger hole that that 10 gauge solar cable has to run through. All right, they call this a cable entry. And what it'll do is it'll provide the uh, protection for the cable, the solar cable, which is 10 gauge. And it's pretty stiff and it has to be a pretty good size hole. I'm gonna go with a one inch for that cable to run down through it. But this will sit on top of that and it'll be sealed down with putty tape and some lap sealant. And the cable actually goes through these watertight fittings that will be there. So that's the project for today, or at least the first part of today. Okay, we've got the hole drilled. And next, we're going to have to file this out and get this as smooth as possible. And then we'll have to put something on it to keep from, you know, bouncing down the road, cutting into the wire. Okay, this is a piece of this wire loom that I've put a piece of, uh, a couple pieces of Gorilla Tape around it. What I'll do is put that through this hole and that will protect the wire from this fairly sharp edge here, although I have filed it down. And then we just have to put this in place and seal it up good. You can see I've got this yellow mason line 
run through the channel up there. And I think you can see where I've got the wire going in up front. Let me go show you. Okay, you can see the wire coming in through the hole. And then it's going to lay up above this headliner. And it goes in and along through the channel. And I've got that mason line tied to the end of it to pull it through. Well, using that mason line wrapped on the end of the, the solar cable, it pulled right on through there with no problem. And ironically, I actually got the right length because this is where everything's gonna go is back in this area. And there it is, sealed up. And that needs to set for at least three or four hours before you drive down the road. But all I'm going to do is pull it about 20 feet inside the garage and I'll probably wait an hour to even do that. But that's sealed up with putty tape under the flange and then three screws holding it down. And then that is called lap sealant. And it's just a self-leveling caulk that will make sure that that bad boy does not leak. Okay, there it is complete. That looks pretty aerodynamic. And that should work pretty well. Now all we have to do is hook it into the system. But that is a video for another day. Hey, listen, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Go ahead and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. Later.